Ninja Forms is probably one of the most popular form builders on WordPress. Helps you create forms quickly, easily, and for free. Hello, hi everybody, I'm Chris Jolson. Today I'm gonna to show you how to add redirects to your forms when they're filled out. When a user fills out your form, a lot of times they'll just get a generic message that says, thank you, we've got your form, we'll be in touch in 24 hours. A better option would be to send them to a page to keep them on your website longer and interacting with your brand. I've included a couple examples and I'm gonna show you how to set them up, so let's get started. Here we are at my demo website, yourdiviwebsite.com, and I'm at our contact us page where I have a bunch of demo forms set up. And if we scroll down here to the bottom, I have an example of a form without a redirect and a form with the redirect. When you have someone that comes and fills out a form, in a lot of cases, you'll see you could fill out, let's say your name and your last name and all the information that's needed in this form and you press submit and you basically get a confirmation notice up here. Form submitted successfully, a confirmation email was sent to, and then you could put the email in here and you could customize these emails and stuff like that. That's a little boring and a lot of your users might miss this because you see how well this blends into the rest of the text and stuff like that. So if you are gonna use a message, I definitely recommend styling it. What I think is even a better example and a better way to do things when you have a successful form submission is to redirect them, redirect them to a page that you could use and keep your potential client on your website longer and stuff like that. So let's just fill out this, it's gonna process it. Okay, and so it redirects you to a page that you create. I created this page as an example, and this page could be any kind of page that you need them to be redirected to. For instance, if this is a potential client that came to your website and filled out a contact us form, you could leave them a message that says something like, thanks for contacting us, we'll be in touch shortly. And you could maybe link them to your latest blog post or your projects that you've completed uh, in your in your industry. Uh, you could also maybe send them to a download page to download the product that they signed up for, et cetera, et cetera. You could really make this page into anything that you want it to be to help keep your potential client and or your user on your website longer and to keep them more engaged with your brand. Let's go and see what this looks like. Create your page and you're gonna take your URL and you're gonna copy it, okay? So I'm gonna copy my URL in here. Let's go over to our Ninja Forms and you'll see down here that I have my form with a redirect. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that. If you don't already know how to create a form with Ninja Forms, you can go to one of my previous videos that I have linked below that will show you how to get to this point. So I'm not gonna go over a lot of that same information here. So here's our form with our form fields that we want the user to fill out. So what we need to do is go over here to the email and actions. And what we set up was a redirect, okay? And you can see it's active. You could also see here that we have a success message too that we could go ahead and remove. And let's just go ahead and toggle this guy open. And you'll see the action name is what shows up here. So we could really name this anything that we need to to make sure that we know exactly where this user is being sent to. Redirect to, uh, latest projects, okay? And this will help you really dial into exactly what this redirect has been used for. And so you'll see that I paste in here the, the page that I created and that's it. And you press done and you publish that. And that's all you need to create a form like this. So if we scroll down, you'll see that now if we come over here and so this form has a redirect, we'll, make, we'll just fill it in again. And as you'll see, the message is taken away and we are redirected to the page. Again, this page could be, is created by you and this could be any page on your website. I don't recommend just sending them back to your homepage or something like that. Sending them, send them to a page that's meaningful for what they just did and send them to the direction in which you want them to go with, with your brand company or your website. And there you go. Now you know how to set up page redirects on your Ninja Forms. Page redirects not only help your user verify that you've received their form, but could help them stay on your website longer and interacting with your brand even more. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next one. Aloha.